Hello and welcome to Pokey Dippies. I am your host, Joseph Moore here, and with me I have some Dippies who want to play some Pokemon. We got Dusty, David, James, and Stuart. Welcome, fellas. Yo. Hello. We'll go yeah. ahead and uh, start off with James introducing himself. Yeah, yeah. Hey, guys. This is James here. I go as Myrtle Magikarp uh, when it comes to Pokemon, and uh, excited to be here. Going to do some artificial things, some legendary things. Yeah, that, that, that was James, a.k.a. Danny Phantom, because he, he goes ghost every week for the podcast. <laughs> Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm here to save the week this time. <laughs> Next up, we got Dusty. Hello. Um, yeah, I'm Dusty Day Day on every platform, and uh, I suck at Pokemon, apparently. I'm, <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I'm speechless. <laughs> Sick promo right there. <laughs> Thank you for that exciting introduction. Uh, next up, we have... David, GS Kamikaze. Kazi. Uh, yeah, so I have two videos on YouTube. There you go. <laughs> One is a... Uh, <laughs> and lastly, but yeah. certainly not <laughs> leastly, we got the Kiwi from Down Under who's experiencing a wonderful winter. Stuart. Yo, how we going? <laughs> Wait, are you from Australia, bro? Oh shit. Hey, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom's from Australia. Oh! Hey. I bet she goes down under. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh shit, that's funny. And speaking of cold <laughs> burns, we got Articuno this week. Ability. Oh, see what you did there? Oh, what a yeah. sick way. Ability pressure <laughs> and snow cloak. Typing of ice flying. Stats are HP 90. Attack 90, defense 100, special attack 95, special defense 125, and speed of 85. So that means it's the slowest of the birds and with the best defensive but worst typing of the trio. <laughs> yep, pretty much. All right, guys, who else wants to talk about how we didn't know this thing existed because everyone avoided the Seafoam Islands as a child? <laughs> Listen. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Listen. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Going to the Seafoam Islands was like one of my favorite parts about the Red Games. Because it was so fucking hard the first time. Yeah, I always went there for a dugong. I, I could, count, yeah, dugong on my, I could count on my hand how many times I went to the Seafoam Islands. Zero. Well, you got six fingers, so that's it. it, it, it. <laughs> <laughs> I went four times in the... And the only reason anyone would go is to catch Articuno, but when I was younger, I didn't even bother, so I didn't even know Articuno was in there. Damn. The only bird that yeah, I, I had the fucking book and everything. The only... Let's be honest, that, that, cave was, that cave was ass. That cave was difficult, because you had to have strength, and if you got there way too early, I didn't like that. And you were fucked. It was, yeah. way, it was way too fucking annoying with the strength puzzle, the water yeah. rushing you out, and... The encounter rate was so fucking high. Damn, you sound like a soft snowflake, Joe. <laughs> I it tell you nice what. <laughs> it may be an icy cold cave, but I ain't no fucking snowflake. I tell you what. I, I heard a shotgun uh, uh, get pumped back there. Is that... <laughs> Pretty sure I hear Jeff Foxworthy in the background. <laughs> now, you might be a redneck if... All right. If you, you like this Pokemon. Guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So what is y'all's favorite in-game moment with Articuno? Sorry, I said mine. In-game? Uh, chasing them around the Sinnoh region when Professor Oak told you you could go get them. The Sinnoh region? Oh, that was cool. That was hard yeah, to do. Yeah, after you beat young. the game, the like post-game stuff, they roamed just like the Beasts do in Gen 2. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know yeah. they did Oak was well. in Gen 4. Well, you'll be able to experience it in chibi form later. <laughs> right? Yes. I um, remember finding a shiny Articuno in the wormhole, ultra wormhole. What? After like 
less than less than fifty encounters. Less than fifty encounters. Fast. Yeah, it was the fastest of the birds. Damn. I I was trying to shiny hunt Mew too, and I I went it to like a thousand something encounters, and I gave up. <laughs> That was pretty deep to give up. Yeah, I was just like, you know what? I'm, Real deep. I'm pretty, yeah. pretty deep. That's a Texas <laughs> move to give up. What about you, he James? You awesome. got an in-game moment with Articuno that you like? Nah, I hated that bird, man. <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> it's probably out of all the birds, bird Pokemon, all of them. I like Articuno the least. That's... Ugh. Same. It looks majestic in the movie. It looks the, so movie, fucking yeah. awesome. It does. That's that's true. It, it does have a like a majestic aura. I agree with that. Uh, See, the problem like the a, birds like have fucking... is that uh, two thirds of them are really allergic to rock, <laughs> and the Earth is made <laughs> of rock. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. segueing to the majestic lookingness of it, um, here we go into the anime. What was y'all's favorite mm. anime moment with Articuno? I like the movie with Lugia. That was probably my favorite version of seeing Articuno. you just never seen an epi- regular episode with it, huh? Basically, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would say my favorite is probably just Pokemon at Origin. Never read catches. He catches them all in the same episode. I think it was like, it was the fourth one. It's file four. Um, he used Ultra Balls, which I... Yeah, yeah, I remember. And oh, he, um, he lost to Mewtwo with it. I forgot about it. Really? I didn't know Mewtwo's, he used the battle Mewtwo. Yep. Yeah, Mewtwo smashed it. Yeah, real. Well, I'm a smash boy. Shows the true power of Articuno right there. Um, <laughs> no well, power at all. <laughs> so there was a, a few encounters with Articuno in the anime. Uh, the first time was whenever... Uh, Gen- Generation 2, I believe, when uh, Ash encountered this guy with some swine oaks who were trying to find springs in the mountain. Yeah. Uh, the second time was Articuno versus Charizard at the Battle Frontier. And huh. th- there was one more, but I can't remember what it was. But my favorite was obviously when Charizard defeated it. Defeated what? An article. Oh. Ashes Charizard. Because I was like, fuck yeah, Charizard's killing legends over here. Yeah, it's only super effective against him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what did he use? Hey, but it, it but it, it, <laughs> it was a good ass fight, though. Like, the fight scene was just amazing with it. Because uh, Articuno froze its wings so Charizard couldn't fly. So it was, what? it was like, it was, it was a really dope, it was a really dope ass <laughs> fight scene. Ash's Charizard used to being frozen solid, I guess. Yeah, no that, shit. <laughs> that fucking polyrath. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Articuno in game and anime moment. Anyone want to spit some facts about this Pokemon on Bulbapedia? <laughs> <laughs> Articuno. Oh dear. Hey, Mr. Roboto, you want to fix your mic? Hey, 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 hey. It's only two paragraphs, this one. It's very short. At the Gato, Mr. Roboto. Well, go ahead, Stuart. You got the sexiest voice on here. Alrighty, so Articuno is a large avian Pokemon with predominantly sky blue plumage and wings said to be made of ice. <laughs> on its forehead is a... On its forehead is a crest that consists of three darker blue rhombus-shaped features of feathers. Rhombus. It has circular red eyes. It's like a diamond. It has a circular red eye, a short grey beak, and long, thin grey legs. Each foot has three forward-facing toes and one that face backwards. On its chest is a mass of pale blue <laughs> downy feathers. Its long, streamer-like tail is longer than its body and the same shade of blue as its crest. Articuno has the power to control the ice at will. When Articuno flaps its wings, it can chill the moisture in the air around it, making snowfall. It flies from icy mountain to icy mountain. According to legend, it appears before Doom Travelers lost in icy regions. As seen in the anime, Articuno sometimes aids travelers and guides them to safety. Articuno lives in cold, isolated locations such as snowy mountains filled with 
permafrost. And then the rest is all about Galerian Nadakuno, which we won't do today. So I would like to interject we'll or say that you said plumage, and that just reminded me two episodes ago, Morgan couldn't say plumage. <laughs> <laughs> I always said plumage just to be funny, but I thought I better not. And, and, I, and I wasn't I wasn't making fun of you for saying rhombus. I just thought the way you said it was cool. Rhombus. <laughs> rhombus. You got to roll your R when you do it, Stuart. Like, rhombus. Rhombus. And uh, now, oh, when you were talking about helping travelers or whatever, I figured out the third episode that Articuno was in. It was whenever this photographer wanted to take a picture of it. He, Snap? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it was a regular episode, and uh, I think this guy was like, "That's, a, that's the character. That's the character from Snap. It's Todd. Yeah, it must be Todd. Yeah, Todd, yeah. Todd from Snap. Yeah. He was like, "I saw that. I saw Articuno Shit, the, when I was young. The and, odds were in my favor that that's who it was going to be. I'm like, <laughs> now I'm seven, and I want a picture of it. Better than Tracy and wanting to draw it. Yeah, no shit. It's like Tracy, anyone can just fucking draw a Pokemon. Come on now. I can't. <laughs> draw an Articuno. So, is everyone in the Italiano chat? Let's go. Dr- draw an Articuno challenge. Go. All right, guys. Well, I guess we ran out of stuff to talk about for this majestic-looking bird. Who is? Uh, can we talk about how shit it's shiny is this quickly? Yeah, let's go for it. Yeah. It's a shit shiny, straight up. I like it shiny. It, it, my... makes, it, it oh, makes it white. It, it. it makes it like a whiter blue. But all right, okay. let's go ahead and use this moment to go to the battle. And um, real quick, uh, for the last two Pokédippy episodes, I know I normally put team builders up. I did not. So if you want to... Uh, be mad about it go ahead and write it down in the comments how you feel and on to the battle all right since no one gives a shit about articuno we're gonna go ahead and see how it does in battle (laughs) right now we have gs koi fish versus dusty day day gs koi fish has articuno 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 jesus christ i don't have the (laughs) list to the side that's how much we don't care about it. We can't even say it without getting confused. Articuno, Aurorus, <laughs> Metagross, Aromatis, Grimmsnarl, and Ampharos, which is most likely Mega. All right, and Dusty side, we have Articuno, Nine Tails of Lola, Lycanroc Dust, Charizard, Durant, and Obama Snow. I went out of order because I read the wrong one first. But let's go ahead and get this battle underway. Let's do it. All oh, right, let's do this dance. Yeah, doggy. Oh, we about to have us a good old hold down right here, right now. I don't want to face either of these things, to be honest. All I gotta say is whoever. Well, I had to throw this together because I wasn't, I was not informed that we had to use bullshit. Sorry, Dusty. What do you mean? We mean bullshit. I put, dude. I just pulled this out of my anal ass. All right, Dusty sends in Kevin Durant. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. wait. I, 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 that's compared ass. to your what ass? <laughs> Fight ass. Ass. Dusty <laughs> sends out Kevin Durant as GS <laughs> Koyfish ass. sends out Baba Yaga, the Grim Star, <laughs> and Kevin Durant, the Durant. Is right there. Uh, well, it's going to give me a nice little... Baba Yaga goes for the Thunder Wave on Durant, and Durant takes it out with oh, a head. Yes. Uh, Kevin Durant takes it out with an Iron Mo- Head. So Baba Yaga is sleepy sleepy now. Hmm. Does that thing get Earthquake? I don't know, does it? Yes, it does. That ah, doesn't matter. I'm going to sweep you now anyway. Soggy Waffle, the <laughs> Ampharos is in. And Soggy Waffle, Mega Evolved. And Stomping Tantrum goes off into Soggy Waffle. Drops it down to 43%. But Soggy Waffle gets off a of Cotton Guard and goes to 2.5 defense. Oh, shit. Damn. Kevin Durant goes for another Stomping Tantrum. Takes it down to 19%. As Durant goes down to a Thunderbolt. Kevin Durant. Alright, Kurama comes in, the Lola Nine Tails, to face off against a Soggy Waffle with boosted defense. Blizzard comes I off thought... 100% effective and goes down because that is a Dragon Electric type. 
All right, Bezos to Spritzy comes in. <laughs> something, something done okay, better. Born in 1964, Jeffrey. Mm, mm, Jeffrey goes mm, for the sub mm. as Kurama goes for the Aurora Bell. Blizzard goes oh. off into the sub, breaks it as Bezos goes for the calm line to see how much he's going to rip off his employees. <laughs> <laughs> Blizzard goes off into Bezos as it goes for Wish. Oh, oh you about to get swept by, by Bezos. Bezos right, is out, bro. Smog the Charizard comes <laughs> in as Bezos gets a Wish and another Calm Mind. And some leftover health. You better have Belly Drum on that big ass thing. I'm going to freeze its wings off, dude. Where's. Uh, there you go. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, Smog goes for the Belly oh Drum and of Bezos. Belly drum. <laughs> and Bezos goes for a wish, wishing it wasn't oh, sitting in front of no. a Belly Drum Charizard right now. Hmm. What do you have, though? That's the question. What do you have? He has everything he needs to make oh, you shit my yourself. Oh, Lord. Smog goes for Max Airstream <laughs> and Bezos goes down. Dynamax. Anytime I have a Charizard that can't Mega Evolve, it's going to be this one. <laughs> it's the best. Dynamax the best Smog set. is out here as Aurorus Dino Dick comes in. Female, a female <laughs> Dino Dick. It wouldn't let you say cock, but it let you say dick. <laughs> dick is a True. name. Dick uh, is a name, yeah. Smog goes Damn. for Max Quake. Dino Richard. Ass woman, and dude. Dick Dino goes down for <laughs> Dino Dick. Legendary Softcock, the Articuno, comes in. Hell is still up. Mm, that's Cock Dino. Yeah, same thing. How do I beat your ass? Soft Cock Vagina Cock. You don't. Cock Dino. Don't Dynamax. You can't Dynamax. Dynamax your Metagross and then just win because then he'll be over with Dynamax. And it'll be he's, very devastating he, to everyone. He's still oh, Max flip. Attack. <laughs> okay, Max Flare goes off into um, the Softcock Articuno. And Future Tesla <clears throat> comes in. The Metagross. Sun is out. Guns out. Charizard is belly drum to the max. Goes for a fire punch and takes down <laughs> yeah. a Dynamax Metagross. Most likely max HP. And no Dusty more Metagrosses. <gasps> Dusty wins <laughs> match one. I've been there. I've Dusty been defeated by Dusty's Charizard before. It hurts. Okay. And now we're going to go. And now we're going to go me versus David. Yeah, I'm right. definitely going to lose to that Charizard if, <clears> if I have to fight it. So. Why are you, yeah, well why, why you why are you assuming you're going to beat me already? I'm saying you might as well just beat me because there's no point. He's I'm playing the odds. <laughs> <laughs> I lose to Morgan, not you. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, Stu, take it away. <laughs> me? Uh, why not? You haven't talked much. Yeah, that's fine. I'll, I'll load it up. All right, so in this match, we have some more gaming with uh, Articuno. Like a rock dusk, a uh, little nine tails, a raccoonid. What's that fella called? Ambi bomb and <laughs> Empoleon. What's that fucking called? I've got GS Kamikaze, Articuno, a little nine tails, Agron, Camerupt, Executor, and Bronzon. Man, so many a little nine tails. Do all you chumps need <laughs> Aurora Vale? Oh, we need Aurora Vale. Oh. Yeah, basically. Uh, Fist of the Ambipom led by Joe there with Smished. By David. Oh, mm -hmm. starts with the fake out. Oh, and Bronzon flinches. Who do you think you are, Mr. Fister? Mr. Fister? Oh, he knocks Two. off Bronzong. Off goes the leftovers. And there goes the trick room. Here comes that camera up, maybe. It's time. It's time. First to use his protect, and Bronson sets up Stealth Rock. That was a good turn there for David. I thought he was going to go Explosion. Three turns left to Trick Room. Yeah. Black Smegma comes out. Yum. The best kind of Smegma. <laughs> 
Black Smegma. That's right. That's Just you haven't watched for a while. <laughs> That's a mega camera up. For so you just protect the way it's another turn of trick room. Oh, and Black Smegma used Eruption. Only got 75% health, though. Here comes Spider Man, take 25% from rocks, and Eruption does a very minimal amount. And Black Smegma didn't do much, just sits there. Looking Smegmery. Smegmery. Uh, Rakuen against Sir Mix a lot, the shiny Agron. It's going to be Mega Agron. No, we already got Mega Camera up. It's going to be Max Agron. And Spider Man sets up sticky webs. It's going to slow that team down, which doesn't mind it, it seems. <gasps> Infestation and Agron is trapped on defense. Infestation damage. Hits him with the Dragon Tail. See you later, Articuno. And a record is dragged back out. You <laughs> Turn turns in. No one's died yet. Oh, infestation again. Rock slide destroys that Araquanid, and he is dead. He is gone, burgers. Gone, burgers. Gone burgers. Lone Wolf, the Lycan Rock Dust comes out. <laughs> what? Oh, Max AGG run. Close combat. Damn. Oh, only does thirty seven percent. Very minimal. Takes life orb damage, and he is destroyed by a Max Knuckle. Absolutely blown back. So now Sir Mixalot's there with plus two defense. Plus one attack. I don't know what to do now. Big problem. Big problems here for Joe. Ooh. Santa's enemy, the Articuna, comes back out after being dragon powered out earlier. Hit some of the water pulse. Confuse, hit Confuse yourself. Them. No! Oh, what? Oh, See you later. Another one down. And the sand is set up. Son of a bitch, looks like I lost. So everyone at the moment. Long. Here comes Nine Tails. Changes the sand to snow, to hail. Snow white. Hypnosis puts him to sleep. What? I hate you. Puts him to sleep. <laughs> puts, oh wow. Like I'm gonna be able to do anything to this thing. Max and Max Hailstorm. Oh, oh he's almost. Stay, hit is yourself. He hit yes. yes! He oh, oh, hits himself. They saved the shit out of me. Ah! The Max Nine Tails. Up. Back comes in the Bronzong smashed. Max Hailstorm doesn't do much. Trick Room takes the hail damage. Heavy slam. Bronzong Heavy slam. Max got no. a gyro ball. Ooh, and that's Dynamax over for Nine Tails, but it survived thanks to the Max Guard. Here comes Empoleon. Retreat, retreat, retreat. Oh, David, retreat. how come when you and I play, you, you can it? read me like a book, but you couldn't read that? You get it? You get <laughs> it? Well, I was going to. I'm in Dama, <laughs> the Executor <laughs> comes out. Rocks and webs on that side of the field. Empoleon sitting there in front of the Giga Draining Executor and Avalanches him. Ooh. Interesting play there. Double damage, of course, if you move second with Avalanche. Or is it if you take damage? I can't remember. One or the other. Liquidation doesn't do anything. And he's going to Giga Drain all the health back. Ooh. Executor takes life orb damage. He's down to 39%. Against Fister, here comes Fister. The Ambi Pom. Fister, Fister. Fake out incoming. Yes, there is. Jesus. Oh, he takes massive amounts of damage from the fake out. And then kills okay. him with a knockoff. David's favorite executor, favorite son abuser. Not OU, eyes, eyes, nine tails. <laughs> I thought it was OU, I'm not gonna lie. I really did. 
Well, we'll just um, do a quick double check, eh, just to make sure. Ah, oh, look at that. In for nine Damn, tails. Damn, can you get a on it? Damn, yeah, I thought you were going to do that turn one. Below you, you. Knock off. Ooh, oh, that's it? resort. Damn it. I should have protected first. I lost it. Oh, there goes the war of hell. Oh, no. <gasps> oh, last resort. Last resort was a genius play. <laughs> Stuart's oh, on a leg. <laughs> yeah, he is. Well, it's because I changed screens. Oh, Moonblast. Down goes <laughs> Nine Tails. <laughs> Fuck. Back up now. I wish I would have. I was going to protect, but I was like, no, he's going to roar a veil. Oh. <laughs> Camera comes out. Sitting there. Lizard. Yep. Is it going to freeze him? No. Flamethrower. Down goes Nine Tails. And then GG. Hey, I, I brought it back a little bit. <laughs> that right. camel about the rock shit. All right, so <laughs> yeah, just saw that. Dusty versus Stewart, and David gets the buy. Oh god, gotta face David if I win. That sucks. Makes me want to not win. <laughs> <laughs> Knew that camel would come in and rock. Hey, yeah. his team's not that good. He just got lucky. Mm. Damn. Yeah, that's what I said when he stopped me earlier, too. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm saying oh. is if I should, if I would have protected like I wanted to, <laughs> like like I Last wanted. Resort was going to sweep. Too bad that guy Nobel. broke into his house and took one of his guns, put it up to his head and said, don't protect, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> okay, let me swap back over to Showdown. I was playing with uh, himself pictures no i'm making <laughs> memes <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's fucking fun. oh boy this is gonna be a good one who's battling now Dusty i've and sent you uh, uh battle invite accepted 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 huh? All right, so I will announce Stu Dog's team since his team has not been seen. We got Stu Dog with Articuno, Torkoal, Venusaur, Hound Doom, Lycan Rock Dust, and Tentacruel. You already know David, I mean, sorry, Dusty's team. So let's go ahead and get this battle underway. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Damn it. All right, Smog comes out the Charizard as Cherbro, the Torkoal comes in. Belly Drum oh, off comes the off the straight out the off bat, the and Cherbro goes for Yawn. Is that Charizard gonna what tempt the fate the here? Play? If. <laughs> Do I? It used its belly drum, so if it stays in here, it will fall asleep. But if it switches out, it may not be able to get another belly drum off for the rest of the match. Stays in, goes for acrobatics, and takes out Church Bro. Ow. So Torkoal is gone for the match. And rock. Smog Mike. is asleep. Choice as the Lycan Rock comes in, and he might be Choice Banded, as his nickname predicts. It is not Choice Banded. Choice as goes for Splinter Storm Charge into Kevin Durant oh. and takes the Durant out. The coolest fucking Z move they ever made. That's all the those, one. all that defense and not being able to live a Z move from a Lycan Rock Dusk. It's Bestest Borker versus Choice as Lycan Rock Dusk duel to the death. Who's faster? We'll find out. And guys, didn't um, two seconds. didn't uh, Michael Vick get in trouble for this? <laughs> Dog fighting. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Venusaur comes in for the Lycan Rock Dusk on Stu Dog's side. Yeah, nah. As Bestest Borker goes for yeah, nah. close combat. Uh, thanks oh, to the sun, Yeah, nah was faster and takes out Dusty's Lycan Rock Dusk. Ugh. So Yana nah is sitting pretty as Pine Puss the Bomba Snow comes in for Dusty. Yana nah versus Pine Puss. 
And Yanon Dynamaxes goes for the max ooze to boost that Ooh. special attack. And oh, Pine Puss goes Lord. down in one shot. Yanon sitting like. Dynamax with the 1.5 oh. special attack boost as Kurama comes in. Kurama, Kurama. Kurama. Kurama switches out as Charizard comes in. And yeah, now nah, goes for another Max Ooze, takes out that Charizard that was sleeping anyway. Yeah, nah, is sitting at plus two special attack, Dynamaxed, and Dusty is down to Articuno, Ice to see you. <laughs> <laughs> and Alolan Ninetales in the back. <laughs> Blizzard goes off into Yeah, nah. But Yana lives it on 21% and goes for another Max Ooze. But Ooh. Ice CU2 lives it at 7%. He's and getting so fucking angry. <laughs> he said, Yeah, nah, bro. I'm not dying. Ice to see you uh. should go first here. Ooh. What's the matter, <laughs> trainers? All right, Blizzard goes off into Yana, and Yana <laughs> goes down. Is this a like and rock Anything sweep opportunity? In Pokemon battle. Choice as comes in, and I assume a Cell Rock is gonna clean up the battle. As Ice right. to see oh, you wow. is gone off the field. Uh, Kurama, the Lowland Ninetales, comes in as Choice as is here. What a nice pick. Is Lycan Rock Dust naturally faster, or is he gonna go for the Excel Rock here? Ooh, Kurama oh, Dynamaxes, and Iron Head no. goes off oh. and still takes out that Alolan Ninetales. Four times effective move uh, shows that it was enough to take down a Dynamax Mon. So we have Gigi. Dusty Good versus. Game, I'm sorry, we have David versus Stewart. In the final. Let's do it. Bring that camel out on top. Finale. Oh, finale. Finale. I'm still jittery from my battle. I sent a bit. Let's go. I hit the I'm going to get fucking destroyed by Venusaur too. I already know. <laughs> All right, guys. We got Ooh. GS Kamikaze versus Stu Dog. You know the teams. Let's go ahead Thanks, and man. get this battle underway. Fucking now, guys. All right, here we go. Sir Mix a lot comes in the Agron as Kaya Ora, the Houndoom, comes in. It's Kiora, which means uh, hello and Molly. Hey, man, I'm taking Molly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kia Ora versus Sir Mix a lot. We got a Fire type versus a Steel Rock type. Let's go ahead and see how this turns out here. Mega Doom. Get mega dunked on is what's about to happen. <laughs> Did you have hit smash though? I don't know. Sir Mix a lot, certainly a bulky boy. But Kiora goes for a flamethrower, burns Sir Mix a lot, and lives uh... that earthquake with no problem. Kiora is sitting pretty as a mega hound doom. A oh, Pokemon, that thing was a glass cannon. A Pokemon most people haven't seen for three years, at least. <laughs> That's a cool-ass Pokemon, though. I'm sure no one's even thought of this mod in ten years. All right, Dark Pulse goes off as Sir Mixalot goes down. So Stu Dog goes off, starting off strong with a six to five lead. All right, not OU. Look, look, the Alola Ninetales comes in versus Kiora. Hello. Fork, fork. Flamethrower goes off Jesus against... Jesus Christ. Uh, not OU, and we see why it's not OU now. <laughs> Flamethrower took yeah. it out. Articuno, iced out, comes in. Shiny. And we know the disgust Stew Dog has for Shiny. Articuno's here, oh, so... Yeah. yeah. He is just so poo-poo. Flamethrower misses somehow. Oh. oh, 
He's got Ice snow cloak going gets on. agility on. Snow cloak takes effect, and this battle as hell is up still. Uh, Iced out goes for. Oh. Iced out goes for <laughs> the air slash. Doesn't take out Kiora, but Kiora goes for the flame charge and misses again. Articuno sweep. Articuno sweep. What Shiny will Stu Art Dog Kuno do sweep. here? That's right. That is so anus right there. All right, Turkle, <laughs> Turkle, sure, bro, comes in. Air Slash takes it down to 59%. Ice Down is still at 2 plus speed thanks to that agility on the miss. <laughs> Lava Plume comes Ooh. off, though, and takes our Ice Out to 47%. Sure, bro, Articuna might go down. Articuna doesn't on this have next bad turn. special defense. Like, Kia Aura comes in and takes the Air Slash and goes down. What was Stu Dog thinking there? Choice as comes I in. I was thinking, fuck things that might miss, you know? <laughs> well, the, the hell's not out no more. <laughs> hey? The hell's not out no more, so he can't miss. Yeah, I know. Exactly. Exactly. I have bright powder, too. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> bright powder. Are we allowing bright powder? Oh, it's, that's rough. It's allowed. Is it? Yep. Interesting. It's an item, it's not a move. Uh, Dumb and Dumber comes in as Choice As goes for Excel Rock, not wanting to risk that Articuno getting off some major damage there. Hmm, interesting. Dumb and Dumber and Choice As having a badass stare off right now. All right, Choice Daz switches out as Dumb and Dumber gets off a Trick Room. And No Worries is in here for Stu Dog, the Tentacruel. And Sun is actually up to help that camera up as well. And also, this Chlorophyll... No, it's not Chlorophyll. Uh, this Executor in the Trick Room. Harvest. Goes for the max psychic terrain, so there is no more priority moves that are gonna happen here. Chabro comes back in. Still three turns of trick room. Psychic terrain has four, and Sun has two turns. And Chabro underspeeds Dumb and Dumber, does not quite take it out as Max Mindstorm will go off again. But Life mm. Orb is chipping away at Dumb and Dumber. Choice as comes in here. And what will it do? I can hear David giggling I, in the background. I regret my decisions. <laughs> I hear some blood pressure rising there. Oh, I don't know what I did that for. You picked Excel Rock, didn't you? Hi. <laughs> right. I, 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 to be fair, I did say psychic terrain like three times. I know you did. <laughs> that's, that's, that's why. <laughs> What's the matter, trainer? <laughs> <laughs> Articuno comes in, mean as, as Dumb and Dumber goes for Ooh. Max Mindstorm and takes it out with one turn of Trick Room left. But it is no longer Dynamax. Still two turns of Psychic Terrain. Yeah, nah, the Venusaur comes in. And Dumb and Dumber is under Psychic Terrain. With one more turn of Trick. Yeah, nah, Dynamax is here. Goes for the Max Guard. Great move. So it does not take that Psychic under Psychic Terrain. There is no more Trick Room. <sighs> Stew Dog is not calling it a comeback. But he is certainly not, giving not it quite. a fighting chance. Don't call it a combat. <laughs> mm. 
with two turns of Dynamax for yeah nah, and Dumb and Dumber sitting at 17% with one more turn of Psychic Terrain. What will happen here? Bronzong comes in predicting that poison move, but Stew Dog goes for the max overgrowth, figuring he would switch. Smash is at 81% and Yad Nah is at 99. I actually just don't know what I can do here to be honest. Well your grass moves are boosted now. <laughs> yeah, but he's immune to the other two, so. <laughs> Smash goes down to 45%. As it gets off a trick room. So another trick room. But this time there's no psychic terrain. Smash goes for the gyro ball as Yanha goes for the growth. Three turns of trick room. Goes for another gyro ball. And Yanha goes for the giga drain. But lost some HP to the life orb. But thanks to Grassy Terrain, may be able to live one more hit. It critical cool. hit! So Gyroball takes uh. it down with two turn with one turn of trick room left. I think it's pretty much wrapped up here. Cause Lycanroc is a speedy boy. Crit Acceleroc. Go. <laughs> uh. Acceleroc. <laughs> Takes it down to 27%, but Gyro Ball under Trick Room was enough to take out the Lycanroc. David, what is the Pokemon you want for the following week? What are my choices? <laughs> Trust me, there's still, there's still a lot. Bla we, the only starter we haven't done is Blastoise. <laughs> Believe it or not. Wait, you, say, you say Blastoise? Blastoise hasn't been done, yeah. I'm okay. down with Blastoise. Okay. So Blastoise it is. And that'll do it for this episode of Pokey Dippies. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Damn, I didn't even get didn't even get to use my Wither Ball Atacuno.